So welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about which BCom specialization you have to choose and which one you should not uh, choose like. So first we will see like a few BCom specializations which are available. So BCom General, BCom Honors, BCom Corporate Secretary, BCom Accounting and Finance, BCom Bank Management, BCom Computer Applications, BCom Information Systems and Management, BCom Capital Markets, Marketing, Travel and Tourism and uh, so these are the list of BCom specializations which are few uh, I have mentioned here. But uh, colleges throughout India offer different different types of uh, uh, BCom specializations. So which one should you choose and which would be like great for your career. So that's what we are going to discuss today in this video. So first we look at what are the general subjects which are there in BCom. So there are subjects which are called as major subjects and minor subjects or core subjects and non-core kind of subjects. Okay. So the score or major subjects are the most important ones in a course and the uh, uh, non-core subject are something uh, which are not or minor subject are not that important. Okay, So they have lesser weightage and uh, they are not that important in a course. So in a BCom, let's see what would be the major subjects here. The majors would be financial accounting, corporate accounting, cost accounting, management accounting, business law and company law, business mathematics and statistics, income tax, indirect tax laws, auditing, management. So if you see here and economics. So if you see here uh, in this list most of the subjects are you are accounting related here. Okay. So BCom is usually accounting related and there might be accounting uh, indirectly related subjects something like auditing or uh, taxation okay and statistics so these are like indirectly connected with accounting here so in order to run a business okay as an accountant so or as a manager you require these uh, the knowledge of these subjects here so this is what bcom tries to develop in you okay you need to know the accounting and the allied subjects which are with accounting so you need to develop these knowledge so let's see like what are the first choice in our specialization okay so i ha i have analyzed a lot i have worked in a lot of colleges and i have observed in real hand like which choices are like great and uh, which are like suitable for career purpose so let's see what is my suggestion so my first suggestion would be go for bcom general course and bcom honors course so why do i prefer these courses as the first the reasons are number one See, everyone knows this course. So these courses are there for around some 40 years and 50 years of time, right? So these are like uh, well-known uh, uh, courses and throughout uh, India, people who are literate, they know about these courses. So you don't need to explain anyone like what these courses are, okay? So predominantly job offers and job advertisements would mention that they want become general or become honors employees. So that is the main reason everyone knows these courses. Number second reason is it's accounting related subjects. Okay, so accounting related subjects are usually the minor or non-core subjects. So you have auditing or business statistics like that. So the major is always accounting and you have minor subjects or non-core subjects as auditing like that. Okay, so that is actually a really good uh, thing in a BCom course. And government's jobs usually specify BCom. So they will not specify what specialization they just specify as BCom. So it could be a BCom general or it could be a BCom honors. Okay. Because if you do a highly specialized course, then getting a government job might be difficult. Okay. But this is not a very major reason. Okay. This is a, just a minor reason because some jobs in government specify that they want BCom general only. Okay. So that can be a problem in future. Let's go for the second choice our second choice is going to be become accounting and finance become corporate secretaryship become computer applications and become information systems management so why are we taking these as our second choice see normally become accounting and finance is not that widely different from a normal become okay become general because in accounting and finance 
a few finance subjects would be added as a uh, non core subject okay where a few subjects alone will be added something like uh, financial management uh, corporate finance so uh, capital markets only a few subjects would be added so it is not a huge deviation from a normal accounts okay corporate secretaryship is like very ideal for students who are pursuing acs right so uh, if you are going to do acs from icsi then i think uh, become corporate secretaryship would be very ideal because there are like many legal subjects uh, which are incorporated inside this course so if you are doing acs i think become cs would be a ideal choice the third one is become computer applications so with data analytics big data with all these kinds of new information technology uh, things which are coming up these courses might be helpful for you okay so if you are a person who wants accounting as well as like computer knowledge i think you have to go for these subjects so they might have some coding related subjects here so rather than and they might be not uh, uh, core subjects that might be like non core subjects the core would still be accounting but still you have some idea about computers and uh, softwares and stuff like that so it is a really good choice so that's why i'm specifying these courses might be good enough so let's see the reason why they are second choice see few people know these courses so that can be a little bit tough for example people might not know about what is accounting finance computer application or uh, ism so they are like very uh, new courses so people might not know them that's one reason the second reason is uh, the non accounting related subjects can be minor subjects for example finance is a minor subject uh law and legal related are minor subjects uh, in computer applications is going to be uh programming subjects which are going to be minor subjects so non accounting related subjects can be minor here okay so that is a another back a drawback we could put so what is our last choice so our last choice would be these courses bcom investment management international business e-commerce foreign trade management capital markets bank management bcom marketing and bcom business management okay so and finally bcom travel and tourism also so these are our last choices okay so anything which is not coming under a first choice or second choice is going to be our last choice here why are we putting these courses as a last choice okay we will have an example with travel and tourism why we have put it in last so see these courses are too narrow focused for example if you take bcom travel and tourism you will have a lot of subjects which are related to travel and tourism so you are like specializing a lot in tourism and travel uh, industry a lot so if with this knowledge if you are going to go into a manufacturing industry or a service industry or any other industry you won't be like be able to use this become travel and tourism knowledge in those industries so that is why it is like very narrow focused okay so usually these specialized becomes are so specialized it's difficult to use this knowledge in in any other area for example you study a lot about e-commerce in become e-commerce thereafter if you want to apply it in a manufacturing company you have to study other subjects okay that becomes difficult so applying these knowledges in other industries are difficult okay so don't go for that that's is the reason here they are too narrow focused these are very new courses so people will not know about these courses so that is the second thing very, and and again very few people know about these courses and finally non accounting related courses can also be majors here okay so tourism and travel uh, management subject could have been a major subject here so you will study less of accounting less of accounting related subjects like auditing you will read them less and you will study uh, the the specialization subject a lot so that is again is going to be a narrow focus and it's like at one point of time we can't even say that they are a bcom course okay they uh, move towards something else but they are not a bcom course so that is a major problem here so if you if you are going to go for an interview and you have selected bcom tourism and the travel management and your uh, other friend has chosen bcom general 
in the interview if they ask questions related to indirect taxation vat gst okay uh, depreciation methods of depreciation like that your friend who has done bcom general he would answer all these questions easily but if you have chosen bcom tourism and travel management there is a good chance that you would have not even heard these words so easily the person who has who has a bcom general background he will get the job okay so that is why we are specifying don't go for this hyper specialized courses okay it's like too specialized that's a problem so let's see what are the alternative choices you can choose for this newly created bcoms okay so there is a newly be created bcom called as bcom economics rather than selecting that you can choose the traditional and well known ba economics rather than choosing bcom statistics go with bsc statistics rather than choosing bcom law go for bachelor's in law so why are we suggesting like this because one whenever you go into a department which is like ba economics they have really good specialized faculties they have so 100% of all the faculties in ba economic department will be economists okay they will be like economic professors but if you see professors in bcom economics 50% of them will be specialized in accounting 50% of them will be in economics so the the any doubts you have they will not be able to clarify it okay so that will become a huge difficulty so the quality of faculties in ba economics department will be much greater than what you will find it in bcom economics so that will that can be a problem the second thing is see the ability to choose within the field for example if you choose bl as a course bachelor of bachelor in law a bachelor in law is a general course from where you can choose later okay later in the course you can choose civil or criminal or intellectual property right as a specialization okay you can choose a specialization later in bl but in bcom you in bcom law you have already chosen a specialization so within bcom it is law it is a specialized so you are actually logged if you are going to be choosing this course because already it is a specialized course in law it is a 100% law course thereafter you can choose your specialization so in the second year if you feel that uh, co commercial law or business law is not your uh, favorite thing then you can even choose criminal law right so you have choices but in bcom law whether you like it or not you have to stick on with commercial law business law right so that can be a problem so always have your options open don't close down your options again very few people know courses like this that is an again a huge drawback so again it's going to be non accounting related subjects can be a major okay so in bcom law law papers will be major and accounting papers will be might even be minor okay so that can be a problem here so what is our final verdict our final verdict would be join become general then become honors these are first courses okay anything among them is not a problem then go for accounting and finance corporate secretary ca or ism in whichever order you take these these uh, four courses that doesn't matter there's no priority among them okay so you can choose any of it so that is our verdict here okay so also once you choose these kinds of courses you can also pursue later on okay in your first year or in your second year or even in your third year you can choose courses certificate courses like nism course ncfm course data analytics course it's up to you okay you can join them whenever you like and you can pursue it or you can also join professional courses like ca acca and cfa again that's your choice you can choose it whenever you want so whenever you go with courses like bcom general or honors and you go choose these courses it's like it's like really well okay and whenever you don't like to do these courses for example you have joined bcom general and you have chosen uh, uh, cfa okay you have joined cfa and while doing cfa you feel that cfa is not a great course or you don't like it you can simply quit it okay because still you have a bcom general course in your uh, backup right you have a backup so this is what our verdict is hope you guys uh, got a good idea about our with our explanation so all the best to you guys 
So you guys can reach me at my website. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I am very active on LinkedIn. Uh, and you can also reach me at Twitter. So if you guys really like the video, put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful. So if you guys have any queries or questions, post it in the comment section. We'll be like happy to answer them. If you guys have any other ideas for further videos, uh, you can put it in the comment section. We'll be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also. So thank you guys. We'll meet in the next video.